Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when Microsoft Store is not working. If you're receiving this error, something went wrong, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to make sure date, time, time zone, and reason is correct in your computer. So at the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time. Click on adjust date and time. Make sure set time zone automatically is on. Also make sure set time automatically is on, and then click on sync now. If you receive any kind of error in red color, just cl click on sync now again, and then go to time and language go to language and region and make sure your country is selected over here now you can check still you are receiving this error the next step is to clear store cache using ws reset command so type in ws reset in windows search box and then click on ws reset this will reopen microsoft store now you can check still you are receiving this error the next step is to repair or reset store now for this type in store in windows search box and then make our right click on microsoft store and then click on app settings click on terminate over here click on repair and once the repair is done open microsoft store still not working then perform reset click on reset and after the reset you can open store and then you can check now still not working the next step is to start these services so type in services in windows search box click on services find windows update in the list make a double click on windows update set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok with this selected make a right click click on restart now find microsoft store install service make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok with this selected make a right click click on restart now find background intelligent transfer service make a double click set this to automatic apply start click on ok again make a right click restart now once this is done now you can check still not working uh, the next step is to run this power cell command this command is provided in the video description copy this command type in powershell in windows search box make a right click on windows powershell make sure that you open powershell as an administrator only then click on yes to allow paste the command over here hit the enter key now this process will take some time and during this process you will you will see some errors in red color so if you see errors like this in red color just ignore it let the process complete once this is complete you will see everything red once that is done now you can relaunch store and then check next step is to run these command these commands are provided in the video description type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app and then open command prompt as an administrator only click on yes to allow now copy all these commands one by one and then paste it hit the enter key run all these command all the commands are provided in the video description Now, once this is done, restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, you can check. Next step is to use mobile hotspot. So you can go to the Wi-Fi icon. If you have any other network available, you can switch to different network and then check. If that does not work, you can turn on the data on your phone and then turn on the mobile hotspot on your phone. And then you will see your phone network over here. Connect to your phone network and then check. Next step is to try installing game or application from my library. So if you are able to open Microsoft Store, in that case, you can go to library option. Uh, first of all, you can try downloads. Go to downloads over here. And if you see your application or game over here, you can try to install it from here. If you don't see application or game over here, you can go to library and then you can try to install your application or game from library and then check. Next step is to uninstall and reinstall Microsoft Store. But before that, if you are able to access downloads, then if you see check for update option, click on check for update. And if you see update all, update all, and then relaunch store and then check. To uninstall Microsoft Store, copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then run as administrator only. Click on yes to allow. Paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. 
This will uninstall Microsoft Store from computer. This time, if you try to open Store, it will be gone. It's uninstalled. Now, to reinstall Microsoft Store, you can copy this command. This command is also provided in the video description. Type in PowerShell once again and make a right click on Windows PowerShell. Run as administrator only. Click on Yes to allow. And then click on Yes to allow. Paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. This will reinstall Microsoft Store. Now you can try to open Microsoft Store and then you can check. Still not working. Run these two commands. Run SFC and DISM command. Now for this, type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command from app and then click on Run as administrator only. Click on Yes to allow. And copy the first command. This command is provided. These commands are provided in the video description. Paste it on the command from window and then hit the enter key. And this will run a scan. This scan will take some time. So let the scan complete. Once the scan is 100% complete, you can run the second command. Copy this command, paste it on the same window. And once the second scan is complete, you can check. Still not working. Uh, you have to restart your computer after this. After the system restart, you can try to open Microsoft Store. Next step is to run inet cpl.cpl command. So type in inet cpl.cpl and then click on it. And then go to the advanced tab over here. Scroll down. Here you can see use TLS 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. Make sure all four are checked and then hit apply. Make sure that you hit apply. Click on OK and then relaunch store and then check. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. For this open Windows settings, go to Windows update and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart it can be restart is a must after this. After the system restart, you can open Microsoft Store and then check. Still not working. The next step is to if you're trying to install any games, you can use Xbox app. And then if Xbox app are pre-installed on your computer, then you can open Xbox app and you can try to you can search the game over here and then try to install the game from here. If you don't have Xbox app installed on your computer, you can use this link. Uh, you can go to Microsoft website. On this website, you will see download the app option. You can download it and then you can run this exe file and you can install Xbox app. And once installed, you can log in and then you can try to install the game in case of games. And make sure that you log in with same account on Xbox app and with same account on store. So open Microsoft store at the top right, you will see a profile icon. Click on it and then click on sign out. Then click on sign in. Select the account which you want to use, which has the game or application. Enter your PIN or password once logged in. Make sure that you log in with same account on Xbox app. Sign out and then click on sign in. And then you have to select the same account which you have selected in Microsoft Store and then click on continue. And then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to install Xbox identity provider now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see download option click on download it will prompt you to open microsoft store so open microsoft store and over here if xbox identity provider is not installed in computer you will see install option maybe get option or maybe update option so in my case it is already installed so here you can see it's installed and the option is grayed out if you see this no need to do anything Follow the next step, uninstall and reinstall gaming services. To uninstall gaming services, copy the first command. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then again run as administrator only. Click on yes to allow. Paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. This will uninstall gaming services from your computer. And once done, copy the second command. This command is also provided in the video description. Paste it on the same window. Hit the enter key. This will open. Microsoft Store, you will see install option or get option to install gaming services. Click on yes to allow and let the download complete. Once this is installed, make sure this is 100% installed. Once this is installed, now you can check. Still not working. The next step is to start all these services. Now for this, type in services in Windows search box. Make a right um, click on services, open services and then find IP helper in the list. Make a double click on IP helper, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on apply and then click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now find Xbox services. Here you can see four Xbox services. You have to make a double click on each Xbox services one by one. Set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Make a double click on the second Xbox services, set it to automatic, apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Again, set it to automatic, apply, click on start and then click on OK. 
and run this open this automatic apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok find windows update make a double click on windows update set this to automatic apply click on start if highlighted Ma now find microsoft store install service make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find gaming services over here make sure gaming services are running if not running make a right click click on start or restart again the second gaming services make a right click click on start or restart and once this is done now you can check still not working the next step is to use option fix problem using windows update for this open windows settings go to windows update go to advanced option now over here you will see recovery option click on it click on here you can see fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now this process will take some time and once this is done now you can check now next step is to update windows to the latest version using media creation tool now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website scroll down here you can see media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file once you run this exe file click on yes to allow Now you will see this uh, screen so click on accept over here and then by default windows 11 would be selected click on next over here select iso file click on next and then you can save it to desktop click on save let the download complete this process will take some time and then click on finish option let this close automatically now go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file and then you will see setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow click on next over here again accept by default here you can see the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this option is checked and then click on install after the installation log into the computer and then you can open microsoft store and then check now if nothing is working the last step is to reset windows 11 now before you reset windows 11 create a backup first because this will result in data loss so just create a backup for your data and the apps now to reset your computer go to settings go to windows update go to advanced option scroll down click on recovery option over here you can see reset this pc option click on reset pc and over here you will see two options the first is keep my files which will remove application and settings but it will keep your personal files the second option is remove everything it will remove all your personal files and application and settings so you can select the option which you want and then you can go for either local reinstall or you can select cloud download download and reinstall windows so whichever option you want you can go for uh, reset once the reset is done you have to set up a computer once again you have to start everything from scratch and then you can open a microsoft store and then you can check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel